What is up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be water changing, refilling the CO2 and giving it a, just a little maintenance and then we'll do an update right at the end and we'll, I'll let you know what's gonna be happening in the future. Let's crack on. Yeah, in general, the, the tank's doing pretty well. All the plants are grinding really nicely at the top. Um, I caught a video the other day of the archer fish actually spitting up. And like, as you can see, I've been putting some bloodworms just on these leaves and they uh, actually spit the bloodworms in. So I'll overlay that video from my phone. But other than that, the CO2's run out. So we're gonna refill that today. Bring that back up to pressure. We're gonna clean the filter out. Um, and just give it a, a general clean up. I'm not going to go too mad because it's not too bad um, As you can see from the side the glass is pretty clean It's just a it's just got a yellow tint to the water and I believe that's just from the wood that we put in so um, Yeah, I've got my hoses out ready uh, I'm going to start siphoning the water out with this one and this one I'm going to connect to the tap because when you have discus you can't I can't drain it right down and do a really good water change because the water is so cold that they, they'll just either die or they won't be able to settle back again. So what I'll do is I put it into the tap, put a little bit of hot in there as well with the cold and uh, yeah, they're fine. So let's crack on.
for the tank to fill up. I'm just going to start refilling the uh, CO2 system. But first things first, we've got to clean it. So what I'll do for that is ever so slightly loosen off the top valve until you start hearing a hiss. And that means that the last little bit of gas is coming out. But this was dead, so there might not be any noise. There you go. Right, that's it. Now that all the gas is out, take this completely out, give it a little dry, the top a little dry out. Be very gentle with it. And what you want to do is You want to pour out what was ever left inside. And then what you want to do, rest it back in its stand because it's going to get hot. Grab a kettle of boiling water. And just fill it up. A kettle's worth is enough. Be careful because it's hot and then you just want to swirl it around making sure all of that old sediment is gone and from the bottom once you've done that you then want to grab a towel because it's quite hot nice pink one here and then all you want to do with this is pour out the boiling water so it's all clean all fresh pretty much you've, all you've done is sterilised it so then give it a wipe down and then leave it five minutes let itself cool down Okay, so now that's all cooled down, I'm going to put the components in first. So get your little pipette. Obviously this only works for Colombo's um, refillable one. Um, if you've got a fire extinguisher one then it might be a little bit different. But Component 18. Now component B. Component B done. And then what you want to do is you want to pour 300 ml of cold water at an angle to take it out of the case, put it at a slight 45 degree angle, pour the water in, and then what you want to do is grab the, is this called the internal filter valve? All of that that's connected on, straight onto there, screw it back on. So Let's do that.
Done. So now the, the meter reading, so it will gradually grow up, uh, grow up. It will gradually rise, and um, what I normally do is I normally leave it overnight till it reaches about 20 bar, and then and then it will go on. So the lights normally turn off about eight, and the CO2 turns off about half seven. So um, it'll already be off. I'll, I'll open the solenoid so I can check how much is in there, but yeah. That's it, that's the CO2 done. Put it back in its case and it's ready to go. Normally I do give it a, just a little bit of a shake so all the sediment at the bottom mixes together well um, and then the, the canister itself will go freezing cold. So that's done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna chuck in some Aqua Essential just because most of that's um, chlorinated water. So I just wanna get rid of that now. Yeah, so once it's in place, just connect the solenoid back to the power unit. Um, put it how you want and uh, make sure your bubble fluid's in there. I've bought, I've bought some of this bubble fluid, so it's, it's a little bit thicker than water, so it doesn't dissolve as quick, um, which I found helped me out a lot, um, refilling it all the time. So, yeah, that's a lot better. And we are back tank's looking really nice um, I just wanted to do a little update and talk over it um, some of the plants like this one back here is not doing too great um, the Anubius is doing really well um, the boost is doing really well uh, yeah there's just a couple of plants that just I think I've got bite marks like this one here and I think that is from these angelfish because look at the size of these this is my hand but they are they've got really big um, and yeah so I think I think it's the angelfish that are eating the plants but I'm not too worried um, it still looks amazing the dogs are opening the curtain which is very bright which is why I shut them um, but yeah, the CO2 is back up and running. Let's see what that's sitting at now. So that is sitting at 20 bar now, which is good. The bubble counter's on. Um, I haven't cleaned the filter. Yeah, I haven't cleaned the filter because it's a new filter and I've done quite a big water change. So I didn't want to mess around with the filter too much. So I'm going to leave that for a while because I do have very exciting news. We are going to be taking our fire reel out of this tank very soon and I don't know if he's gonna come out it normally does I wonder if I open the top if he if he'll come out and say hello it's not feeding time I normally feed him about seven o'clock so he, he doesn't come out a lot um, so yeah um, but the fire reel is going to be coming out of here and we're going to be rescaping this just for the better fish and look at those already just because of the clean up we did uh, in the last video they're looking really good a lot healthier the auto sinkless the new plant I put in down the back is growing in lovely um, no co2 so I think this one is is this one in this big tank that one there so what I'm thinking is either the bigger fish are eating it or the co2 is too much for it and it is it's not a co2 plant so I can't remember the name so um, obviously it was just a bit of a trial and error, but the um, Echinodorus at the back there is doing really well. It's growing in really good since I, I moved it from the tank over there. Besides that, that's, that's pretty much what we do on main, main, maintaining our four foot aquarium. Um, a little update, all the fish are doing great. The discus are doing really well. Um, yeah, the CO2 is kicking. The plants are doing really well above. So yeah, that's all I can say at the minute. I'll, um, obviously when we rescape the little tank at the front I will do another little update just to show you um, and what I might do is all the plants that have been eaten I might take those out and replace them with something different so we'll do a little video on that as well um, but yeah that's it for that and we also have another scape coming up with my brothers um, I don't know if I've mentioned that I might have mentioned that we're doing a scape but we're doing an aquascape for discus in my brother's tank so he did have cichlids um, 
but they just got too big and they was pooping a lot so um, yeah it was just too much clean up so he now wants discus so we're gonna me and Matt are gonna go over there and aquascape the whole tank so that's another four foot coming up very soon um, but yeah stay tuned and check out for the next video see ya Spill the tea, yeah. Ooh. All right. Woo. This is light work. Come on. Spill the tea, yeah. Ooh. All right. Woo. This is light work. Come on. Spill the tea, yeah. Ooh. All right. Woo. This is light work. Come on. Spill the tea, yeah. Ooh. All right. Woo. This is light work. Ha <laughs> ha